the world is too noisy. You know who said that? Well, you may say me, or you may say I, or you may say him or her. Yeah, everybody complains. That is, the, that is the whole point. Even right now behind me, you can hear some noises, right? It is a noisy place, but you gotta make peace with that. And you gotta listen to these kind of audios. So today I made a compilation of one of the four celebrities. It's very, very short videos. It could be one of your favorites. This morning, just a while back, I posted a short. Please check it out. It's about do not cast pearls before swine. Wow, that got me really inspired. But I'm sure you guys, if you listen to me, check these audios and videos, I mean these videos out. You will be happy. Uh -huh. What is that? Well, it's all about how you feel, how you feel. I have been asking this question for the last 15 years and actually everything is not working, but it works out. The small things always work out, but I'm after the big things. You know what I mean? And that's what, isn't that what everyone is? How can I make myself happy? I'm gonna watch a really nice movie which can uplift me. I'm gonna listen to that music all day long, which uplifts me. You know, get the ear, I've been telling people, a lot of people, so, get the earphones. Well, I don't know, I went to the shop and you know, they don't have it. Then look for it, look for it. Ask people, ask around. You can do this, you know, and keep keep repeating that statement. The, the one I made the video about uh, the other day, I can do this, I can do this. And if you do that, a lot of people believe it, but a lot of people laugh at me like, what the hell is this guy talking about? You cannot Google this shit. So, it's your life, your choice, I'm only here to help. So, comment me, give me a collect call or whatever. I mean, there's billion of ways right now to connect with people. Let's get started, let's get started. I really hope that you enjoy this video. Take care, bye now. What makes you different if you identify that and you realize that, all right, this is what's different about me. If you think about it, that's exactly what makes you unique. Be the best version of yourself. Because the more different you are, the more special you are. I'm willing to keep going. I'm willing to listen to what others have to say. I'm willing to go forward even when I feel alone. I am willing to go to bed each night at peace with myself. I am willing to be my biggest, bestest, <laughs> most powerful self. Any number of people coming to me and asking, Sadhguru, how to control my mind? I said, why the hell do you want to control your mind? Do you want to liberate your mind or control your mind? Oh yeah, I would like to liberate, but how to control? <laughs> the problem is right now, they're having mental diarrhea. That's the problem. When you're having mental diarrhea, you think of control. No, your mind, your intelligence, your faculties, who you are must be liberated. Boundaries should be broken, not set. Control means to set boundaries. To liberate means to break boundaries. The mama mentality simply means trying to be the best version of yourself. That's what the mentality means. And it's a constant quest. It's an infinite quest. So it means every day when you're trying to become better. you would give them if they're like how do I gain more confidence it starts with yourself man you got to start diving into those things that you are afraid of you don't gain confidence by going to the spot that makes you feel good it's gonna be a false reality and the second life gives you that challenge is facing these things overcoming them and maybe not overcoming them every day but facing them and facing them and facing them pretty soon like this you know what man this is where it's at mm. it's not in that comfort zone it's in the discomfort zone is where my confidence is getting built. Mm -hmm. That's where it's getting built. You have to face yourself. So many people live to be 100 years old and they die miserable having everything. 
because they never examined. I call it my live autopsy. Mm. You never examine this. Happiness, peace, enlightenment, it's all up here, man. It's all up here. If I start talking like this, people go, man, you know, I don't know. No. It's the truth, man. Yeah, it is true. It's yeah. all up here. You just gotta be willing to go and face it. And that's the hard part. Everybody's got a story. We don't share it on social media. We share our nice life on social media. We have, we all have a dungeon. I'm just willing to talk about mine. Yeah. Most of us aren't willing to talk about it. Life is one big mind game. Yeah. And you're playing it with yourself. Is it true? I don't care. It got me through the hardest training, starting out broken. Mm. Where most people quit, I had just started. Wow. And when you take that mindset and you learn to flip that around, that's what made me powerful. I'm just saying that when the mind and the body connect and you didn't and you don't give yourself a way out, the only way out for me at that time was death. Wow. I'm going to be a Navy SEAL. Or I'm going to die. Or I'm going to die trying. Yeah. Period. And my body said, Roger that. We're going to get you through this. <laughs> so when the mind gives it no way out, no way out, your body says, okay, okay, I believe you now. I have to heal. I'm going to figure this out with you. We're yes. going to do this. It's going to be the, the worst part of your life, but we're going to get, you're going to survive. We're going to survive. The, the world's too noisy. Your mind needs quiet for you to find who you are. People ask, what's my purpose? Why am I here? You're not going to find it nowadays unless you lock yourself in a quiet room in your mind and find it. It's too noisy. For me, I could be in a busy street in New York City, horns honking, and I'm walking around with like nothing. It's me and myself yeah. in a quiet spot. And when you are constantly reflecting on who you are, where you've been, the journey you've gone through, the journey you can continue going through, the feeling's always there. You don't allow the world to pull you so fast that you forget. You don't allow yourself to pull you so fast that you forget. It's not about staying in that moment. It's about you want to get to the point where that feeling follows you like breathing. Mm. It becomes a part of your life, a part of your DNA. But it's made. Like these calluses on my hands right mm -hmm. now, they're made. Yeah. They are now on my brain. This is now a part of me. 